everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I'll be creating a mani with scratch nail wraps I apply it over my dip powder mani I do my usual process and I make sure after the activator that I buff very very well and then I clean it off with some alcohol if you want to see my exact steps on how I apply a dip powder mani see my video right here and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. I've applied my dip powder, Gold Digger from Rebel Nail, and I've buffed the two fingers that I'll be using today. And now I'm going to apply my gel base coat. I am super, super, super excited to show you this this Manny. Um, I got to see a couple people actually on Instagram use these wraps. Um, I've used some in the past but never as good as quality as these ones. These ones are so good. It comes with the instructions here in the back and it comes with two sets of um, nail wraps and it's a monthly um it's a monthly uh, subscription so every month it's different uh, unique wraps and it's made with uh, real nail polish actually so uh let's get started i just finished curing my nails for 60 seconds and i'm removing the sticky residue on my nail with some alcohol and then i have to size it to see which one would be best on my nails um, you can also always uh, trim them but usually there's i mean there's a couple of them in there so usually i find one that fits my nail yeah, see, there's two so that's perfect for my two nails. Yes. I have my two sizes ready. And so there's two films. You, you take out the first thin film. Uh, it's the thicker one of the two, I think. No, it's not. It's the thinnest one. It's the easiest one to take out. And then the second one um, you go where the gray part is at the bottom and you're able to pull it right off. It's super thin and you have to be very gentle. It doesn't fold over. I use my, my jelly stamper to put on my nail. I find um, it's a lot easier this way and there's no wrinkles when you put it on a jelly stamper. Okay, and then I could see where to put it on my nail oh yeah i've done one nail already <laughs> sorry <laughs> I, I forgot to press record for the first nail now uh for this one all i did was push it right down and see there's a little piece that's sticking off you can just like pull it off i usually pull it down so i don't uh damage uh what i applied on my nail and there's some sticking out at the bottom so it comes with a little file that you can just you know file it off and, uh, and then you can use some some alcohol uh, not alcohol what am i saying <laughs> sorry uh, you can use some acetone on this brush that's also included uh, to stick it onto the nail uh, be very careful when you use the acetone. Try not to put too much on your brush because if you get it on the image, you're going to remove the color since um, it's made with polish. So uh, it's mostly to go around the sides to make sure it sticks to your nail. And that is it. Once you finish... Um, with the acetone, you have to apply your top coat. 
All right, and it also comes with this um, little wooden stick as well. If you want to make sure your everything is flat, you just push it down. Um, it's so beautiful. So I'm going to use my gel uh, top coat. Um, I use Revel Nails Tack Free Gel Top Coat. And I put a nice a thin layer over it. And normally I do two two layers of gel top coat because I want it to last a long time and I don't want it to chip and then you cure it for 60 seconds I will be pairing my wraps with um, Laurel by Revel Nail it is so beautiful look at this color I can't wait to try it matte oh look at how pretty this is um, it's from their new collection, Bohemian Bouquet. Bohemian Bouquet. It's the only one I got. Um, I mean, I'd love to get the whole collection, but you know, you have to pick and choose <laughs> sometimes what you could spend your money on. And well, I just got one. <laughs> this one was my favorite. Okay, there we go. Look at how pretty. So I'm using a pro base and I pour over the first two layers. So this one and the second one. Um, I've noticed with Revel Nail, I like to do three layers of color. And then if I find I need to buff, I put a layer of clear on top. This cover, look at the full coverage on the first layer, it's beautiful. Yes, okay. So, I, I was kind of going for a fall look here, like a transition summer to fall. And the fall colors are my favorite. I love it. I actually got married in the fall because the, the colors are so beautiful. And I don't regret it, even though it was freezing. <laughs> we were so cold in our dresses taking pictures outside, but it was worth it. It's already going on 11 years in October that my husband and I got married. It feels like a lifetime away. 11 years. Now we have two daughters. We have a home. We have a cat. <laughs> and I have found this amazing hobby that brings me so much joy. <laughs> And it all started with Revel Nail, actually. The Canadian Revel Nail team is just so awesome. Shipping has always been so quick. And if there ever was a mistake, they would fix it quickly. Um, and their customer community page, uh, their Canadian customer community page is so, it's so friendly so much love and support i wouldn't have had the confidence to post my my nails if it weren't for for that group so that got me started for sure <laughs> all right so let's get back to the mani um i am applying my last coat now and like I said, I like to do a combination of both, so uh, I'm going to dip into this one. I like to keep a lot on top. If you'd like a more detailed um, video on my dipping process, you can look at the one that I link on the top of the page here. And I'm just going to clean up my cuticle and brush it off. And then I'll apply my activator.
I'm using Rebel Nails Activator. Um, I like to apply um, two coats of activator. I am very generous with my activator. Um, I did one here and I did another one off camera. And now I'm going to repeat the process with the other two fingers and I'll speed it up a little bit. All right, I filed and buffed, and if you want to see my process, I have a video up here. Um, and I wiped off um, my nail with uh, some alcohol and a lint-free wipe. And now I'm applying my gel, my gel base coat, and then my gel top coat. I've cured my gel base coat and now I'm going to apply my gel top coat. Um, you'll, I apply it this way where I put a lot of product on top and then I slide it down. Um, I find this way there's no streaks and no bubbles when I do it this way. So I put a little uh, I put a lot of product on top and then I just slide it slide it down and when I'm done applying my top coat I am going to cure it for 60 seconds and my manicure will be complete I'm so happy to be sharing this mani with you today if you like this video uh, tune in next week because I'll have something really beautiful <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me today. See you soon.